You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. $75 million. That's what a federal jury awarded two black men in wrongly incarcerated in North Carolina. Uh, folks, uh, they were wrongly convicted of raping and murdering an 11-year-old girl. Maintaining their innocence since 1983, Henry McCollum and Leon Brown have been given $31 million each for each, uh, $31 million bucks for uh, each, each year they uh, spent in jail. Now, in addition, they are receiving $13 million in punitive damages and $9 million from a settlement with the Robeson County Sheriff's Office. The brothers say authorities took advantage of their intellectual disability and coerced them into their confession insisting they did not understand the signed confessions at the time. The $75 million settlement is the largest sum of money awarded to a wrongfully convicted person in North Carolina history. Uh, folks, this is, of course, uh, the latest in numerous cases along these lines. Uh, we've seen uh, black men incarcerated uh, in other states as well. Unfortunately, all have not been able to receive the financial benefits necessary after spending so many days in prison. My panel, J. Amos Jones, Weaver, political analyst, also joining us, um, uh, Teresa Lundy, principal founder of TML Communications, and will later be joined by Julianne Malvo. Uh, Teresa, th th this is one of those uh, cases where when you, when you hear a story like this, um, you know, again, that's a long time to spend in prison, and some other folks haven't gotten anything near that in terms of the kind of resources uh, to help. Yeah, I mean, well, one, congratulations to the two brothers, but one, of course, it is unfortunate that the situation even happened to happen to them. Um, I think there is opportunity it, uh, for other counties and other cities and states to really start to look at um, their their judgment calls, um, because it does take a toll on the citizens that, you know, have to go through this trial. Um, but I, I think, again, as we looked at some of these critical roles in criminal justice reform, we start to really understand some of the consequences of some of these actions. And I'm hoping that the police departments are doing the, uh, their um, uh, review on some of these issues as well. Well, look, what's so sad here, uh, Avis, is you can't get those years back. It's as simple as that. You can't get those years back. Uh, and the only way to really uh, help somebody is monetarily. And unfortunately, in some other cases, uh, folks aren't getting their uh, fair share or just do after serving uh, decades in prison. Now, you're exactly right. I'm so glad that these brothers were at least able to get uh, this level of compensation. And you're right. Unfortunately, this is unusual um, that people would receive uh, relatively speaking, such a high level of compensation as compared to what others often get. But really, there there is no price that you can put on each and every minute uh, that they spent in prison when they shouldn't have been there. And they also deserve compensation, and I'm glad that this maybe was, was um, included in this particular price tag, the fact that this particular crime was so heinous, uh, one can imagine that their reputations might be irreparably damaged. So at least I'm glad that with these brothers, they are finding some level of delayed justice, but justice nonetheless. And I hope that for others, they're able to do the same. And there's going to be a lot more um, focus on this. And, and unfortunately, Teresa, uh, we're seeing more and more people uh, being uh, suing who were wrongfully incarcerated due to uh, shameful actions by uh, police as well as uh, DA's offices. Yeah, and we're going to continuously see those type of actions actually happen where people are deciding, you know, to pick up the phone and they're calling Ben Crump and they're calling other civil rights lawyers and they're saying an injustice has been um, done years before. And so now attorneys are looking at cases, you know, you have some of these nonprofit organizations, the Innocent Project, who's really opening up the books to some of the the, the injustices that has been happening. And it's, very, it's going to get costly. You know, so, I mean, the, the, the state legislator has to also understand that, you know, some of these cases that they, you know, when you could just put people in prison for 10 to 15 years and think they're going to forget about it. No, someone uh, inside of the prison that people are doing their own cases, their own review points, um, and they're just not waiting anymore. So it's going to get very costly. And I'm glad it is because, you know, like Ava said, um, that people are, you know, um, starting to put 
um, there's no cost. There's no cost to um, how much you owe a person. But again, if there is a monetary settlement that can be happened, a absolutely should. Uh, well, again, as we certainly hope uh, that those two men are able to uh, move on with their lives. Unfortunately, uh, they had to serve a long time in prison uh, and they never, ever did it. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it, please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.